Dear Warriors, this is Uncle Mitch, welcome to Albion's Adventures, and today we are going to be playing Hive Swap, Act 1. Forgot my headphones. Anyway, yes, Hive Swap, Act 1. And I may have to change the options because I really want it to be windowed. Ah, oh, it's so cool looking. All right, um, options. All right, that is much better, actually. All right, the capture cards. I'm not sure you're supposed to pronounce that, actually. Capture. this all of a sudden um your name is sorry you're gonna need a... you're gonna need a minute okay you give yourself a minute to freak out because of the monster the thing with all the legs and the teeth the one you barely got away from minute minutes up though you take a deep breath let the uncertainty slip away into the toothy arm wriggling darkness and focus on what you know your name is Joey Clare. You live just outside a town with the town of Huntswitch. You are, in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. You're cute. Speaking of, that monster, the one you bar that barely missed eating you alive, only you're not thinking about that right now. He might be headed back outside where your little brother is. You've got to warn him. Oh, do I just look around? Can I look around at stuff first? Look. It's the 11th of November. They just started off like any other day. With another sunrise, the sound of songbirds going hog- Songbirds going hog wild out there in the trees. But their songs have all but stopped. And then there's something else going hog wild out there. And you know, and you don't know what it is, but it ain't the birds. And it sure ain't the hogs. <laughs> I love the way that this, um... Oh, I love it. I miss Homestuck. Where I marked off today's date as part of your daily routine. If anyone claims that you didn't exist on the date of November 10th, 1994, you can shove that big red X right in their face and prove them wrong. 1994, okay, I was one year old. I'm guessing, I forgot, did they say how old you were? How old are you, Joey? Shoes. Look, along with ballet, you, stu you also studied ta No, come back. Along with ballet, you also studied tap dancing. You haven't decided what you prefer. Not only is fun, but tap's also fun, in a different kind of way. I took ballet and tap when I was a kid. 
You considered blending the two, wearing one top shoe and one ballet shoe at the same time, but decided to fully master both and earn the respect of your teachers before unveiling your boundary-shattering ballet style to the world. I like that idea. Let's equip them. You'd add the dance tip applique to your technique. Techniche. Yep, those are the words that refer to those concepts. We learned them literally just now. Ugh, these will help if there's anything you need to shake up. Shake up! Or just if you're in the mood to shake it up. Nice. Talk about hot stepping. Well, lukewarm stepping. Look. It's easy to make. Your very own cake. Or something like that. You were really excited to get this for your birthday last year, but you ran out of baking stuff pretty quick. You could use regular sugar and flour or whatever, but it's not like you have those things just sitting around. Who does, honestly? People with moms, you guess. Bake! You're out of baking stuff. You're not too busted up about it, though. You're pretty tough. I'm glad. Your babysitter gave you this for your birthday. Joey, she said. This this wizard's the best. He lives in his little wizardly arm, just swimming. In spells of glitter, he will protect you. He's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizards. Obviously, she's pretty great. Okay. You... Got more pressing concerns right now than the book report you had handed Monday. Besides, none of these books are appropriate choices for a book report. According to your teachers, your teachers seem oddly fixated on award-winning books, where beloved dogs are introduced and then inevitably die. You kinda hate your teachers sometimes. I hate the teachers too! I need to turn on the light, don't I? That's better. These posters, they resonate so powerfully with the very core of your being. The animals, magic, the power. They whisper to you in your dreams. Secrets of a better world on the other side of the stars. We probably don't need to go out there right now. Mom won the award around the same age as you for being the best at ballet. It's pretty. Thank you. Um... You got more pressing- oh yeah, the book report. Oh, these are cute. Looks like the Care Bear's gone evil. They should be pretty safe on the shelf, which is the point of shelves, you suppose. This raised and cushioned platform where you spend several hours a day every day unconscious and hallucinating. Usually while the majority of the other people on the continent are also doing the same thing. It sounds very uncomfortable and unpleasant. You try to remember if Clarissa ever got in any jams like this. You have so much in common. Annoying little brother, computer in your room, and uh Second story bedroom, um... Anything else in here? Oh, as much as you hate to admit it, Clarissa's life deviates from yours in a number of versicles. Her parents were around. She had a cool friend, who was a boy, but not her boyfriend. No monsters in the yard, etc. Computer. Your mo modem is always making a mighty racket logging on. Probably not worth riling up the hallway snakes to surf your sights right now. It's not like there's much new to see anyway. You're sure that Jude would have let you know if anyone in your web ring had updated their sights. God, puppet! <laughs> this is Sir Bobby Popswatter. Your beloved Manthro Chop. You tend to his fussy whims and needs when you trouble to imagine what they might be. What a darling dream to combine the finest quality of an animal kingdom with the nobility of hu 